Hello and welcome to Looking at the Markets with David Modell. Today I wanted to talk about two candlestick shapes that I think can be pretty important depending on how you use them. They have to be in the right context. So for all you candlestick shape watchers out there, I think this could be a really interesting video and it'll be a quick one. I'll get right to the point. Uh, so the two that I like to look out for, I look out for a number of them, but two that I focus on a lot are the hammer candle and the shooting star candle. And the hammer candle is oftentimes considered bullish and the shooting star is oftentimes considered bearish as far as candlestick shapes go. Uh, so they have to be in the right spot though. So a hammer candle, and I have videos on these candlestick shapes, so you can look for those. Uh, but when you have a hammer candle, if it's at the bottom of a downtrend, Okay, if you have some red candles and then a hammer candle, uh, that could possibly signal a reversal. No guarantees, uh, but as you can see, it worked out pretty well over here. And I'll show you how to find the hammer candles in a moment on TradingView. And you can use, of course, your own uh, charting platform. Uh, but it, if you want to visit uh, TradingView right now, they're not charging me to use it. So, you know, if it's free to use, why not, right? Uh, and then the shooting star is up here and as you can see it happened at the end of an uptrend right and it signaled a reversal to the downside doesn't always work out perfectly like that all right uh, and then you got another hammer candle uh, at after a lot of red candles and it signaled the bottom and then it reversed upwards right with that hammer candle after a down move okay so a hammer count candle after a down move could signal that a reversal to the upside is coming and a shooting star candle after an up move could signal a reversal to the downside all right no guarantees doesn't always work so you might want to combine this with other things such as support resistance things like that all right so how do you find these on trading view you go to indicators and strategies over here. Uh, a lot of times people will go here for different indicators and things like that. Sure, you can do that, but maybe not everybody knows. You can click on candlestick patterns over here, and then it should be in alphabetical order. And so hammer is right there. And it even says bullish, because I guess TradingView knows that uh, generally it's considered bullish. And then shooting star down here, and they even wrote bearish next to it just to let you know that uh, oftentimes it is considered bearish, okay? And then you can put those in your charts. And if you have a different trading platform, then I guess you'll have to find out how to do that on your platform, okay? So hopefully these will help you. Again, don't just, please don't just count on these reversals here, all right? Combine these with other, other things, use your common sense, but you can make it part of an overall price action trading strategy. Hey, so I want to thank you for watching and for listening, and I will talk to you again soon.